Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we are going to create a nice and simple sidebar menu in Flutter. So before we begin I have created a complete new project in Flutter with the name Sidebar. I hope this looks very familiar to all of you. Let's remove all unnecessary comments and widgets so we have a cleaner project. After we're done, everything what we have in our override build widget is a scaffold with a bar widget, title sidebar and empty body widget, which we are not going to use in this tutorial. Since we want to have everything organized and have a reusable navigation bar, we are going to create a separate file inside our lib folder with the name navbar.dart. First of all, let's import material design package. Then we are going to create a stateless widget. I am using Visual Studio with Dart IDE, so I have a shortcut by typing STL, press enter and it will create a stateless widget. Let's name our class navbar. Just in case, if you don't have the shortcuts, you can manually create a navbar class and extend stateless widget, then override built widget. Instead of returning a container widget, we are going to return a drawer, which will allow us to create a future sidebar. Ok, awesome, now let's go to our main.dart file and import our navbar class. Next, we need to initialize it. Scaffold has a drawer widget that we are going to use. Type drawer and our class name navbar. Now, if we save our project, we will see that menu icon appears in our app bar. If we click it, we will see an empty drawer. Here, we will create and display our sidebar menu. Ok, we are actually finished with our main Dart file. So, we can close it and open navbar file. First things, inside our drawer, we want to create a list view widget, where we are going to create our header and relative links. Inside list view widget, we will create a user accounts drawer header. This will allow us to place avatars, names, emails, etc. By default, user accounts drawer header requires two parameters, account name and account email. These both parameters accept any widgets, so it's very customizable. And you can create any widgets you want, to be honest. I have created a simple text widget. So, let's put some random information inside them. Awesome! This is what we have so far when we save the code. Now, let's create an avatar and header. For this, user accounts drawer header has a current account picture widget, where we can create a circular avatar. In this widget, we will create a clip oval widget, because we want to have a circle area where we will display a picture. As you can see, now we have a circle area, so let's put some image there. Image property has various of options, assets, file, memory and network. Since we will take our profile picture from internet, I will choose an image.network. Image.network accept URL as a string, so I have prepared a profile pictures in advance and place it on my website, so I can load it in this tutorial. I'm sorry, I had to restart VS Code, so let's continue now. Then we need to specify some width and height for the image, in my case it will be 90 by 90. Now if we open our sidebar menu, you will see that our profile image has been loaded. Next we need to cover whole area, so let's add an additional parameter fit boxfit.cover. Great, after curing account pictures. Let's create a decoration so we could place our background image instead of blue background color. Create image, decoration image and inside it takes image provider so we can use network image and load our background image through URL. Ok, after we save the code we can see that our background image plays successfully but in wrong size, so just add fit 
boxfit.cover inside decoration image, so it's cover full width and height. This looks great, but there is a small problem. We still have a white spaces on top. Before we solve this problem, let's create a blue background color first, so that if image has some problems with loading, it's use that color until the image is loaded. So just add color colors.blue inside box decoration, or use any colors you want. Ok, now to remove white spaces on top, we simply add padding edge insets.0 inside list view widget. That's it, now it looks much better. Well, we finished with our header for navigation, now let's build some links. Since I wanna use icons with title and maybe some notification count at the end, I will use a list tile widget. Inside it, I will use leading widget for my icons and let's create for example favorite links, so I will use favorite icons. Next we have a title widget and then on tab function, where you can set a route change. For debugging, let's just type print favorite. So when we press on our link, we can see the message fav in the console. Ok, I will keep it as a null, so change it wherever you need. Now, let's copy and paste 6 more times, so we didn't waste our time on typing same things again. Ok, great, now you can customize a list style so that they have a different actions. So as you can see, I have created friends, share, request, settings, policies and exit. Next what I want to do is to make a separate section. For example, from favorite until request is one section, settings and policies is second section and exit is third one. To do so, we simply add a divider widget between list style. This is what we got so far. Ok, now you are free to go and use it in your project. But I wanna add some extra stuff. I wanna have some notification count on request widget, so let's create it. Inside our list style where request is, create a trailing widget and create a container. We're going to use a background color of red and set width and height to 20, so we have a perfect square at the end. Next, we're gonna place a count number by creating a text widget. Let's assume that we got 8 requests. Then let's change the color to white and font size to 12. Great, let's now play the number in the center. We can just simply wrap text with center widget. And after we save, as you can see, our text is centralized. Finally, let's make our container circular. Honestly, there are so many ways to do so. You can use box decoration and then use box radius or box shape that circular. But I wanna make it simple, so I will wrap my container in the clip oval widget, like we used for our avatar. Voila, we now have a notification count at the end of request link. I think this is enough for today's tutorial. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and I will try to respond to all of them. Thanks for watching and have a great day!